welcome to this musically inclined edition of Can We Talk Trusting? If you can hear the music in the back, my roommates are currently cleaning. But we are here to review the season premiere of Friday Night Smackdown since the 2021 WWE Draft. Obviously right after Crown Jewel and oof, what a Smackdown we have to discuss. We, as Bill is currently texting me about Rampage, um, we have Brock Lesnar who suspended the title exchange that we definitely did not want and we are finally using the Intercontinental Championship again. Welcome to a brand new episode of Can We Talk Wrestling and we are starting right now. Our Universal Champion kicks off SmackDown saying that the list of competitors that he has beaten since WrestleMania is way too long. He defeats Brock Lesnar almost easily and questions Paul. You can easily give me a microphone but you can't give me the title when I certainly ask for it. Says that Brock is no challenge for him and that Brock called him out after Saudi. Waiting and holding the show hostage, Brock finally comes out after a commercial break and literally decimates. Decimates. Not only Roman Reigns and the Usos, the crew, the cameraman, he broke a camera, um, some of the referees, and Adam Pearce. Adam Pearce indefinitely suspended Brock Lesnar, which means we won't see him until the Royal Rumble, which I had also said on my review show, and he hurt Adam Pearce, so it looks like Adam Pearce might also be going away for a while as well, which is also kind of interesting. Oh, Orange Cassidy did one. Good choice. Anyway. So, um, this to me was a very interesting way to start the show. I think it made sense meaning that Reigns and Brock was like the marquee match, but I will say that I definitely did not agree with Michael Cole saying, so this is the biggest match we've seen since Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. No. No, it was not. It wasn't that big of a deal. Like, tone it down, Michael. Tone it down. And then from here, we had Drew McIntyre literally lay out an open challenge to anybody in the back and out of anybody. Sami Zayn answered the challenge. With new music, they got rid of Sami Zayn's original theme song. I am not okay with this. And he versus Drew McIntyre in a fairly good match. Um, it went it went like 10, 12 minutes, which is a lot longer than I expected. Obviously, Drew took the win here because he is the new face of SmackDown. He definitely will be one of the prominent faces for the blue brand in the coming months. So, like I said, it was a good match. It was nice to see Sami used. And it, it was overall pretty good. And then we had the coronation, oh my god. <laughs> just to see how excited Xavier was, was just so cool. He's finally our king, he was just so excited. He talks about how he has just wanted this moment ever since he was a kid. You saw him interacting with all of the, like, the kids in the crowd. There was one kid who had like an all hell Xavier sign. He's like, hold it up, hold it up, like we did it, we did it. And it's just so cool to see like, Everyone in the New Day really did accomplish their childhood dreams. Like Kofi like had a marquee match at WrestleMania 35 and got his World Heavyweight Championship. Big E is on the World Heavyweight Championship run of his career. And then Big um, Xavier wins King of the Ring. It's just such a cool thing to see. And it it's nice in wrestling when you see childhood dreams come true. And that's the best thing about the sport. I'm um, excited to see where he goes from it. Like I said on my review, I think I said this on my review, I think that Xavier, since he is King of the Ring, should also challenge for the Intercontinental Championship, just because I feel like as King you should be able to challenge for a title. <laughs> I think that is, I don't think that's asking too much, but I also think that Xavier could also elevate the IC title too, because as we get into, as we're going to move into Sami Zayn, uh, whoa, <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura wrestling. Bill, hold on, I'll answer you in a second. <laughs> Um, Shinsuke Nakamura against Baron Corbin, I think that the IC title definitely needs to be elevated and I think Xavier is the man to do that. So it was Shinsuke Nakamura versus Happy Corbin in a IC title contender match, so basically like how AEW does like the, you could challenge for the championship but it's a non-title match, if you win the non-title match you get your championship match, which is something that I've seen more in wrestling which I actually enjoy. This match is really good and Corbin did get the win. I wouldn't mind Corbin being the IC champion but I think the problem is that WWE right now doesn't utilize their mid-card titles. We haven't seen Priest like do anything with the US title in months and the IC title has not been defended on a pay-per-view literally since WrestleMania. 
which is a problem. <laughs> So this is a problem that definitely needs to get fixed and I feel like either Xavier Woods or Baron Corbin is the person to do it. If not, just put that title on Drew or Sheamus and I think we'd be alright in the world. And for the title exchange we did not need, obviously with Becky Lynch not dropping the SmackDown Women's Championship and Charlotte continuing to have the Raw Women's Championship and then being drafted to the opposite brand, you knew that something was going to happen, whether it was going to be winner take all, combining the titles, or anything else we got an exchange. Now for me, I think the exchange is also kind of stupid, meaning that you get nothing from this, and I feel like a Sha uh, Charlotte Flair, so, um, Becky Lynch match for all the titles would have been super cool too, and super different than what they did at WrestleMania 35, because Ronda was in the match, but I like how they kind of tossed in Sasha, as Sasha's going to be a threat to Charlotte, and you know, Becky just said, you know what, you two figure this out. See, it's Survivor Series. So, I'm thinking that maybe next week or the week after we see Sasha and Charlotte for that SmackDown Women's Championship and whoever's going to wrestle Becky. I think they're going to go with Charlotte just because we haven't seen that match in a while and Charlotte and Becky literally can't put on a bad match even if they tried to put on a bad match. And to me, even though we've seen this match, especially at a Survivor Series before, I just feel like there's so much more to this. And this is definitely, like, they even hinted at, like, kind of a few too. So, I just think it makes more sense for that match to take place. But I wouldn't mind Sasha and Becky either. Because we have, because out of all the four horsemen, that's like the match we've seen the least of Becky and Sasha. So I wouldn't mind it either. So, but I will give credit where credit's due because obviously taking a 23 hour flight from the opposite side of the world to the States and going out there and performing on SmackDown is not the easiest thing to do. They are probably so jet lagged. So I would personally like to thank every single person that was on SmackDown tonight that flew from Saudi yesterday. You guys put your bodies on the line for our entertainment. It's the reason I do the show. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. And that that's not even just the wrestlers, the camera crew, the commentators, um, the production team, anybody that was in Saudi that flew, the refs, anybody. You guys are amazing and you're the reason I love the sport so much. Overall, I thought the SmackDown season premiere was okay. Um, the one thing I did kind of hate was that a lot of the debuts weren't really debuts. Like the only debut we got was Hit Row and I personally don't mind me that Hit Row probably is the biggest get for SmackDown. But someone like a Zia Lee or an Aaliyah or a Raton, like I would have just structured the SmackDown a bunch all around a lot of the debuts we're getting. I understand it's a two-hour show and you had to do things to recap off of Saudi, but I would have featured more of the draftees. But that's it for me, and tune in to the to the episode right after this because we're gonna review Rampage.